The military of this planet are incredibly well equipped. They have all the best equipment, all the best people. We want to try and set up an alternative to that. I had a top secret security clearance and I ran very large computer systems um, actually in the Pentagon. It was a, a service for the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And part of what I did there was I, I ran computers that model thermonuclear war. So when I talk about how easily things can escalate, I say these things actually having seen the plans. It's not a pretty sight. They basically blew up the world over and over and over again.
There are two sides to this event. One is an extraordinary concert with musicians from all over the world, and the other is a peace forum. And you're going to be introduced to some of the people whose work is a direct and practical part of the peace process. And that's great that we can conclude the International Year of Peace with such an important event here in Japan, in Tokyo. Peace was created because there has always been schools for war all over the world, whether they were academies for war or universities for war, but there was never a university for peace, to educate for peace. The main purpose of the university is to network, and that's exactly what we are trying to develop with the cooperation of our friends. The Global Computer Network is definitely a practical and very sensible alternative and, and form of action at this point. Information is one of the main sources of power and of influence and of action.
We had this press conference right after landing here. I found myself sitting next to this Russian guy who sings in a rock and roll band. I mean, they played at the, they played in New York and they played back in the USSR. It's very exciting to talk to somebody from Russia because I've never been there and not many of us can go to the Soviet Union. Well, I have thought many times what was the, what, what's the, the reason of uh, militarization and the wars. And, and they say that, for example, Russians, they're aggressive or they say that Americans, well, they're aggressive, and I know Russian people. And I was in the United States just two months ago. They have very warm, open heart, and peaceful. So who wants the war? <laughs> Nobody knows. Sun City, have you? <laughs> it's a joke. You know what Sun City is? Sun City is, an, is a resort in South Africa oh, yeah. where the white South Africans can go and gamble. It's time to accept our responsibility. But freedom is a privilege nobody raised for me. Look around the world, baby, it cannot be denied. Why are we always on the wrong side? That would be very strong for people from both of our countries to be saying that. Why are we always on the wrong side? This could be great. Let's go!
the oppressed people of this land now want their liberation now. Choose to run or stay in place. 
self-control No self-control No self-control No self-control No self-control No self-control No self-control The device for throwing electrical waves capable of paralyzing alternate and direct current at their source. It not only makes the United States invincible in war, but in so doing promises to become the greatest force for world peace ever discovered. Focus that inertia projector on him and let him have it. This is the most positive and promising defense program we have undertaken. SDI will go forward. You know I hate to hurt you. I hate to see you pain. But I don't know how to stop. 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 I enjoy rock and roll very much and because uh, it challenges uh, society. I think the power of the peace movement must always remember that basically that it is not uh, a passive word but an active word. We challenge society. We challenge governments not to throw their people in prison for no reason whatever, not to kill them, not to torture them. The people should be left alone. Government should protect people. Well, I'll tell you, like with Amnesty International, and Jack Healy would say how, what a difference it makes writing letters to dictators and that this could have an effect. I really had a problem believing that, and yet it turned out to be completely true. You know, I'm a member of Amnesty International. We write our letters and send them out, and it has an effect. And out of the six people who were uh, the prisoners of conscience for that tour, two were out from writing letters and stuff. You can get it if you really want it. You can get it if you really want it. But you must try, try and try, try and try. You'll succeed at last. You can get it. Get that head thing happening. I do. Uh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You can play alone. You don't even need a guitar. As long as your head is moving. Opposition will come your way But the harder the 
and the beauty of the curve of the earth and its oceans below. You might think it was paradise if you didn't know. You might think that it's turning, but it's turning so slow. How long can you hear someone crying? How long? How long? How long? Can you hear someone dying before you ask yourself why? And how long will it be till we've turned to the task and the lesson that we've never learned? Of reason are drowned And our bridges are burned How long? How long? How long? How long? How long? How long? environmental and peace organization and that means we tackle ecological problems of many kinds. We're probably best known for our efforts on behalf of uh, marine mammals at sea and trying to protect uh, the oceans from pollution. We also have a very vigorous disarmament campaign and in fact when you consider that our efforts to protest French nuclear testing would have created such a a violent response, the sinking of our ship, the Rainbow Warrior, the murder of one of our colleagues, that it gave us a tremendous sense of the ability of a relatively small organization to really impact global politics. The song is dedicated to all those people who have the courage to stand up for what they believe in, whatever the cost to themselves. In particular, for one man who was tortured and killed in a jail in South Africa, for Stephen Biko.
there was a, a, a class of seven-year-old children, about 15 kids, and the teacher asked them, what, what do you think? Is there going to be a nuclear war? Fourteen kids raised their hands. One of them didn't, and the teacher said, why, didn't, you know, why do you think there won't be a nuclear war? The little boy said, it's because my daddy goes to meetings all the time to prevent it. I was 15 years old at that time. I was 800 meters away where the atomic bomb exploded. I lost my consciousness because of the flash and the sound. I was trapped under rocks and a big tree. I regained my consciousness when I heard people screaming and children crying. I will never forget seeing many bodies floating in the river and that I escaped by walking over dead people on the ground. One hundred twenty thousand people were killed instantly in the area of three kilometers by one small bomb, and the city of Hiroshima was completely destroyed. It also destroyed our heart.
When Stephen suggested doing Revolution for the finale, we all felt that that was a great idea because one of the things that has got us here is the idea that peace is about action. This song, I think, embodies that. Yeah, that's important, right? Well, right now, they want to run the end one time. Yeah, we haven't got we this want right. To run the end yeah, one yeah, time. yeah. I really hope young people get a sense that they can make a difference to what is going on. And I think that's the most important thing, that, that they don't feel victims of the world, but that they feel in charge of the world, because it's theirs to inherit. Since the concert, the University for Peace, under the direction of Barry Roberts, developed a computer program which harnessed resources valued at $60 million. With the help of the Costa Rican government, this program provided an important technical step in making these resources available to users in Latin America, bringing them into the computer revolution. The quick and efficient management of information has become one of the main power sources for the leaders of our times, stronger than armaments. Whoever has the correct information ready, readily available definitely has the leading edge. Another development was that existing computer networks, PeaceNet, Moscow Teleport, and GreenNet, linked up with the university to pool resources in the Association for Progressive Communications, APC. For the inauguration of the University for Peace Global Computer Network, UPGCN, we contacted musicians who participated in the benefit, world leaders in the peace movement, peace organizations, and ordinary users of the Computer Peace Network and associated computer networks. They were linked simultaneously by phone, computer, and television in Costa Rica, Moscow, Tokyo, London, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and New York. I am pleased to inaugurate this global computer network as an important innovation of the United Nations University for Peace. I am convinced that this global communication network can help us to confront more effectively through shared data and resources, the problems of war and want that we face together as members of the human family. All those interested in the cause of peace will wish it well.